Hello and welcome back everyone and today for our free online lesson, I'm Shafiq Farhan as a product manager at CAT system. I will do presentation on frame analysis. So basically these topics are focused on our industry that we try to focus right now, machinery, equipment and automation. How we create frame analysis, our robot uh, structural, okay, the structure for our robot and then we want to create the analysis directly using Inventor software. Okay, thanks for everyone that joined us from Facebook Live. Okay, hope you can share our video for everyone so everyone can learn on this topic. And also for those that join from our Zoom meeting, if you have any question, you just can uh, type in your question into the chat session. Okay, so this will be the sample of one of the results that we are able to do using Inventor Professional. So these things are collaborate between Inventor Pro plus Inventor Nasran. Okay, in order to make it this object, you need to have three different items. Okay, the first item, you need to have the sketching first. Once your sketching for your structural done, you can convert your sketching to your 3D model structure and then go with Inventor Nasran to create finite element analysis. Okay, for today's uh, free online lesson, I will demonstrate starting from scratch how we start to create our structure, our frame for structure first. Okay, the line and then go to generate the frame design and directly go with analysis. So just go to your inventor. If you want to know more or you want to learn more about this topic, so we are creating a lot of, a lot more information on our website, on our free online lesson. So this will be the third topic, the third series for this industry. Okay, so I go to start with one simple object. So click new standard MMIPT create. Okay, throughout this IPT, I just need to create only the line. No need to create the 3D. Okay, so highly recommend you to make sure that your Z direction is start from top. So that will be the first step. So you just need to rotate your object, something like this. Okay, your exact location already correct okay from here to here okay z x and y and then next change this object okay this cube as a home with a fixed distance or fixed to view fit to view okay next this bottom view because this one we want to change into a new one new view just change it to Set current view as front. Okay, now you will see that your object, okay, your cube and your orientation of your X, Y, Z already in the correct one, in the correct position. Okay, to start with the line, okay, so we, we just need to create a simple drawing here. So I will start with a XZ plane. So I just need to right click and new sketch. So click on this line button and just type in the value that you require. So for this case, I want to make it 570. Okay, and then go to here with 2 meter, 2000 mm, 570 again. So if you require to have a support at the middle, you just need to create a line directly. Okay, directly on this middle point. Okay, in case you require also the trust, so what you are need to do, you just need to create the line for your trust. Over here. Okay, I just give you a simple example for this area. Okay, for the next step, I, I need to have 
another plane which is at this side. Okay, the left side of my current sketch, I want to have another sketch. So if I want to create a new plane from current plane, so I just need to click on this plane and go back to the XZ plane, click and drag into a new position. So 2000 also, the value also 2000. Okay, so to copy paste this drawing to here, so you just need to new sketch, create a new sketch at this drawing and use project geometry to copy all the line to that specific sketching. Okay, and this line is missing. Hit finish sketch. Okay, so this plane, this work plane, you are now you are able to hide the visibility. So it just stick on the visibility and it will hide. Okay, next step, we are required to create a new one. Okay, so from this plane, YZ plane, again, new sketch. Okay, so this will be the major problem. Okay, if you're not familiar with Inventor, if I want to create from this top, I don't get the point. I cannot get the point. Okay, so the tricky part over here, if you require to get the point, so what you need to do, you just need to click on this project geometry, click on this point and this point, follow together with other spawn that you require. Now you're able to create from this snap point to another snap point. Okay, you can just finish your drawing over here. Okay, from here directly to here. And finish sketch again. Right, so same goes just now. I want to create another one, another plane from this side to this side. So click on this plane, YZ plane, and just directly click on this point. Okay, so use the same concept, which is we are using project geometry to copy our sketch from behind or from the, the front view to the new sketch area. So this will be the example for our structure that we are looking for after this. Okay, in order to make it a frame design, we need to work with IP, IAM. Okay, from IPT, this one is a part file from Inventor. So to create a frame design, so you just need to click save and then just name it. For example, this one, I just make it as a structure frame. Okay, click new again and then just use any anything that I am. So this one is most recommended using standard MM only because we're not required to create a mold and also well at this moment. Then just click create. Okay, so click on this place button at this top to insert your IPT. So now you are able to insert your IPT on your plane here. Okay, your X, Y, Z is correct, but your view is not correct. So again, we need to repeat the process. This one, I just need to change to front view. And this view will be my home. Basically, this one already my home view. X, Y, Z is already correct here. Only need to change the front view after you're done. Okay. So frame design are able when you use IAM only. Okay, so when you install uh, Inventor, you will able to use IPT IAM. This one is only for Inventor Pro. Okay, so to make sure that you use your IAM and create a frame, just go to this design tab. Click on this insert frame. So this software will help you to make sure that you save your file first. Okay, this one is structure assembly. Assembly. And then, now you can directly create your frame using this insert frame button. Okay, for 2022 features, okay, so this frame generator already simplified. 
So this one is already easy for you to use by select the category first. So for this case, I want to use a square tube. Okay, or you want to use a T is also uh, doesn't matter. So for this case, I want to use this square tube first. Okay, just click. And you can click once, okay, at any point first before you can change also the standard and the families. Okay, so in case my structure are using JIS, JIS standard, you just click JIS, change to whatever shape that available here. So in this case, I want to use square. Okay, and also the size, you are also able to change the size. So now you can click directly on your screen here, okay? On your line that you have created, you already created. Okay, in case when you already click everything, then suddenly you have one misclick item. So to remove that, you just need to click shift and click back to the line. Okay, that one to remove. So now I just directly create first. So later I will show to you how we able to edit it. This one, top and bottom. Here. Okay, so you can click OK, or if you want to still continue using these insert frame features, just click Apply. Hit OK. OK, so for the next stage, for this truss, I want to use a, a smaller size of beam. OK, so for the smaller size of beam, what I need to do, I just, just need to change the size from 7, 75, 75 to 50, 50, for example. So I just need to click on here. One, two, three, four, and five. Same goes to this area. One, two, three, four, and five. And then just hit OK. So this will be example for this structural, how to create a structure. Okay, to simplify or to make it our structural more logic. So because these objects are clashing each other. Okay, clashing each other. Okay, to make it our structural more logic, we require to use all these button. Okay, either you want to use a meters or you want to use a trim. Okay, you can use it. Okay, but for this case, I want to use trim, select face. This will be my first face. And then this will be my beam that I want to extend. Okay, so I just use trim and extend features to make sure that my beam here, my vertical beam, go until that face. And then click apply. Okay, go to the next one. So you, now you are able to create directly to the next one. From here, one, two, and also together with this side, one and two. And now you also can hit apply. Okay, so you just can continue until you get whatever shape that you require for your machine structure. So you just need to click, click, and click. Okay, just hit okay. So in certain cases, I require to create a meter. So what is a meter? So meters, I want to make sure that this edge are connecting together, okay, into an angle, okay, angle view. So for example, over here, I want to change into edge. So what I can make it, I just need to use meters features, click on the first one and the second one. It will cut on this top area then you also able to create OK. Okay, hit OK. And then also repeat the process one and two. So this will be only example. Okay, now after this, we will check on our analysis. 
is that our design is good or not. Okay, so let me finish a little bit my frame. So I just need to repeat the process again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So another size. Okay, for frame design, normally I, I got a question from a client. So is that possible we create a plate and do a bowl connection? Yes, you are able to do that. So when you want to create new things here, for example, you want to create a plate over here. So what you need to do, okay, when you trim your object, so you just need to insert offset. For example, this one, I want to create a 5mm plate. Okay, and then you just need to cut your beam with a 5mm distance from the beam over here. Okay, next step, you just need to create using assemble using this create button. And then you just create inside this assembly. Okay, no need to do it uh, manually using IPT one by one. Okay, better you use this method. Okay, one, two, and three, and I believe my design already okay now. Right, so let's go to analysis. Okay, in Inventor, we have two options to create a frame analysis. Okay, the first frame analysis, using this design tab, you will see this frame analysis. If your company only have inventor professional, you are able to use this frame analysis. But if you your company have a uh, product design manufacturing collection, which include a lot more of features, okay, a lot more of software, so I will recommend you to use this environment and make sure that you install this Autodesk Inventor NAS run. Okay. So let's start with using this NAS run. So I just need to click on this Autodesk NAS run. Right, so I believe the structural material already well known. So we already uh, specify the structural material as a mild steel. Okay, normally as a mild steel. Okay, but now I want to change. For example, if you want to change, you are able to change to here, material. And then click on idealization to group it into a new material. Okay, so for this case, all structure will be neglect at first. So, but if you want to create a natural analysis and you want to include a structural, you just need to click on this structural member and select everything. Hit on this transfer from beams to solid and then hit OK. Okay, all this software, uh, all this structure will be included now. Okay, for structural analysis, okay, for frame analysis, first step, we need to set the material. So by default, this structure already have their own material. Okay, I don't want to touch on that material. If you require to change, so this will be the two button. Now you want to, we want to insert the constraint and load. So in this case, I want to insert a constraint. So I just need to click on this view. Okay, this will be my first constraint area. Okay, since my object have four legs, then I require to select all face. Okay, never select the edge. You need to select the face. If you want to fix to the bottom side. And then hit OK. Okay, so the next one, I want to insert a gravity. So this will be the reason why I require, I ask you to change this S, X, Y, Z position at our IPT. If not, our Y direction will be at the top. Okay, then it will much more difficult to us to specify the value here. Okay, so to set a gravity, so you can set here, change from force to gravity. Then you just can name it, a, name it as a gravity. So the unit here is mm per second. 
power of 2. Okay, and I want to insert at force Z, FZ. Okay, then this value I just type in 8, uh, 9, 9810 mm square, mm second per, per second square. Okay, and then I just want to add a distributed load at all phase. So if you have a plate, then it will be much more easy. Okay, the top plate. But for this case, I don't want to create a split first. So I just want to study the structure first. So I just need to click on this load again. Okay, you are able to change from force to a distributed load. Okay, this load will be distributed to this location every here. Okay, so now you are able to change here and here. Okay, but if you require to use only a load, then you just need to click on this force. One, two, three, and also four. Okay, so I just need to make sure that my total force are in a certain value. So for this case, I just type in 15000. Okay, I want to check the direction first. Okay, when I hit OK, so the direction will be go upside because I use a positive value for my FX. Sorry, for my FZ. So to change the value, so what you need to do, you just need to click on this load tool, right click, edit again, make sure that your FZ value change to negative value. Negative value. And then just need to hit OK. So your direction will be go to the downside. Okay, only a simple things that require now. So you just need to make it a contact if you have each item contact something like this. So you just need to click on this con contact, auto, and click mesh directly run. So that will be the process for a structural analysis. So I will try to make it done for this sample. So contact auto done, mesh setting. So normally this software will help you to make it a minimum, uh, the optimized size. But if you require to get a, very, a little bit smaller, so you just need to change one, one, zero, for example. And then just click on this generate mesh. Okay, the smaller the value of mesh, okay, the detail your, you are able to get your information, your data. Okay, but it will take a longer time for you to generate the mesh. Okay, currently I'm using 110. So you can see how long it will take to generate uh, this all object meshing. So it depends also on your how many numbers of parts that you want to include on this FEA. Okay, so after this mesh done, so only one single button we require to click this button run. Okay, so done, okay. So this meshing will try to split all the object into a different color, okay, into a different color. So now you can see, so this one, and this one is a different object, different solid bodies. Okay, so I just need to click on this run button. Okay, NAS run will active and all the process you are able to see at this left side but, uh, view. Okay, on this model three, normally we uh, see uh, model three on your object. So this side, you will see how many numbers and all the process you will see on here. Okay, the total nodes, total point, total element, total meshing, every single object here, it will appear here. Okay, whenever it does, it will come up with one pop-up button, Nasran analysis completed. So after that object come out, the pop-up come out, you just you are able to see your result. Okay. So this one, I believe uh, when we check back, this object are only two meter times two meter. Okay, with a height 750 mm, 0 0.75 meter. Okay, if you are working with a larger item and it will take 
longer time to generate mesh and also to run the software because it will need to study all the nodes and also all the elements inside this 3D model. Okay, so what are the things you able to do when your analysis is done? Okay, the first one, you are able to create a report. Okay, PDF report. The second one, you are able to study your stress, your displacement, your bone masses, okay, for your frame design. Okay, and the third one, you are also able to create animation for your design. Okay, animation for your analysis. Okay, this one until now already 17,000 element done. Okay, so I believe this one have around 20 plus. Okay, so almost done here. Right? So, same goes like my previous, my first sample that I show you. Okay, so this will be my first sample that I show you. So if you require to generate it, so you just need to click run again. And this will be the result that you are able to see. Okay, so for this result, okay, I am able to see a deformed contour. So I just need to click on this button. Deform and all the item, all the result here. Okay, and to generate a video, so you just need to click on this animate button. Okay, just need to click on this animate and then you are able to see your object are animated and also you also can record. Okay, so this will be the deform view. So if you are want to make it into a contour view, so click here and you able to see your result, your data for stress, displacement, and others. Okay, this will be the animate button. Okay, just a simple click of one button, and then you are able to see your movement of your analysis here. Okay, also we'll show in the screen the display, uh, the the information. Okay, for example, I want to study on the displacement. Okay, later you will see, oh, this one, it crash. Okay, displacement, yeah. So later you will see from, uh, from 0 0.000 until 0 0.339. So what does it mean? So the red area are the largest displacement take part. So at this area, at this area are the largest area object moving, but, you need to consider 0 .0, 0 0.339 is only a small amount of value. It's less than 1 mm. Okay, that means these objects are not uh, have a major defect, a major deform for this uh, structure. Okay, you are able to see also the rotation, stress, reaction motion, contact. And to generate a video, click on this animate okay okay now you will see on my screen this will be the animation for this structural for displacement if you require to study the stress just change to the stress and then also click on this animate okay so that will be my presentation for today any question for those that want uh, that, that join us from Zoom meeting. Okay, if you have any question, you are you can type in into the chat session. Okay, and also for for those that join or see this live from our Facebook live. So if you have any question, just type in into our comment section. Okay, so this video will be published on our YouTube channel. Okay, if you miss topics from our YouTube channel, so what you can do, you can go to ACAT system website. Just type in on this address bar, ACAT systems with s.com, and then scroll to the bottom, okay, to the footer at the bottom, okay, go to this our YouTube channel. So, this 
button will be bring you directly to our YouTube channel and you will see all topics, our free online topics that we already done and you can see the recorded at there, at that location, at our YouTube channel. Okay, so I believe no question for this time and I would like to thank everyone that joined us. Okay, stay safe and make sure if you think that you have any question or you want to learn more about our free online lesson, don't, uh, don't forget to register on our website, icatsystems.com. Okay, so thank you everyone and see you next time for my next free online lesson. Bye-bye.